political ideologies and the concept of justice. Not only is the definition of ideology not clear, but its structure varies from generation to generation, and it is normal that the economic changes in the body of a country affect these structures. With these economic changes that have been effective in the 16th st century in the emergence of trade and classroom differences in the monetary economy, social and political structure has shown such a change that neither traditions nor religious phenomena have been enough to undermine and support them. In fact, the definition of the French Revolution, ideology was a concept that was personal and legitimate for those of the administration. Ordinary people wouldn't think, the government would think of the elders and know the best. Ideologies, seen as a product of non-objectless, follow a political trail, shaping both our ideas and the steps we take as a result of the hypotheses of how society works and what it should actually be. While ideologies illustrate the right of the government in power, they can be strong enough to illuminate their evil, incomplete and unfair sides, causing them to wink at the possibility of another ruling. Among these political ideologies, liberalism, conservatism, nationalism, fascism, feminism, anarchism, fundamentalism, ecologists, Marxism, social democracy, postmodernism and socialism are among the most emerging ideologies. Liberalism In the globalization phase, which has spread in many areas, most of the nation's remaining states have been hit by their independence in almost all areas. So that a development that took place somewhere in the vault had a similar effect on a country far away. It is a current that results from the negative situations caused by governments interfering with economic markets. At its core, there is freedom, and tolerance that comes with individualism, and the liberation of individuals. The limitation of the powers of the ruling government ensures the freedom of individuals, while it is assimilated that the reasons for the existence of these institutions are the individuals themselves. Conservatism Since 1830, while choosing to solve the problems of the agenda by taking advantage of past experiences, conservatism, which maintains traditional values and takes into account both the social and cultural factors in the formation of events, suggests that social order is a formation over time. Contrary to liberalism, social political problems can be solved by religion and morality, not by making sense. He thinks that what exists with his gardening structures is the best, and the inequalities within the order are common. Nationalism There is a history of existing nations, and no matter what happens in history, there is a unity and solidarity between the elements that make up these nations' society, country value, and culture. This is the same in circumstances where the relationship between these elements will differ in different circumstances at different times. It's like a genetic-based ideology. It's about self-integration and unity. Fascism. It is an ideology that does not include civil or political organization, where the individual and therefore society are melting down within the state. The head of the state is not a manager, but a leader. The state is as much higher than the important concepts of equality, justice, freedom as individuals. It wouldn't be wrong if we said everything was for the government so that individuals can sacrifice themselves for the state. Nazi and Mussolini examples are good examples of fascism. Feminism. It's an ideology that s society women tend to recognize and own their rights. When talking about inequalities that women have suffered in matters such as education and employment purchases, just because they are women, some professions can only be attributed to women and men, and can lead to division in public, to withdraw from work. Liberals say women who look like second-class citizens also violate the principle of equal opportunity. Anarchism. It is an ideology of any situation that has been suppressed and deported by society, including the state. Although the daily language is meant for words like chaos, mayhem, it is said that the reaction that actually occurs is not against the existing order, but against the challenge of people being forced into requests. Without force, a society can be created by voluntary means, and any situation that pushes people's will is bad and must be eliminated. The only absolute value is freedom. Religious fundamentalism. By the end of the 20th century, there were two different trends, with religious groups increasing their influence in politics, 
trends framed by religious elements that are moderate and democratic and totalitarian to freedoms. Since the last quarter of the century, religious groups have begun to rethink the effects of their country on their laws. This ideology does not conform to the reduction of the religion factor in management, innovative ideas about religion and different styles within the same group. Ecologists As their approach to environmental problems changed in 20.yy, ecology was replaced by the term ecology. After the same word, the ruling government has become the name of an ideology developed to criticize issues in social, political and economic terms and offer a new order. In this context, freedom is not considered in the political arena, but in itself. Marxism. In this ideology, which has been fed through the streets of the workforce throughout history, is in conflict with the bourgeois class, and is opposed to capitalist order, equality is more associated with society itself. It continues the ideology of broken communism. While the state is not next to the working class, it is seen and works in this class as part of the capital class. In a management that results in the power of the labor class, production tools will be combined on one roof and clashes with the class will end. Society will only exist as much as it does. Social democracy. It is an ideology of the unification of liberalism and classical socialism, and the common interest of the market and common ownership, where liberalism comes from, on the one hand, is that society's interests are above all else as an advocate of labor. If the government in power is to change, it must not be done through the revolution, but through the consent and choice of the people. In general, it is an ideology that believes in humanity, feels anxiety as it is beside the one who is wronged, and cares about equality of opportunity. Postmodernism It is about an understanding that does not base on theory and reality compatibility but does not connect to a logical error that does not include contradictions and vicious loops within the administration. It's a situation that has been forced to make choices in a constantly rejuvenated world. In this ideology, an idol is not perfect, it does not try to idealize anything, including leaders. Normally, the effects of globalization begin to weaken institutions and applications. However, postmodernism can exist in this integration. It is a cult of societies that show wealth in terms of culture and race, and it embraces the policy of difference. Socialism The Industrial Revolution is an ideology that reacts to creating class differences in society and causing inequalities in income and rights. In this ideology where private property is eliminated, he argues that people cannot be exploited because selfish thoughts will also be eliminated. Production is made to meet the need for profit purposes and the ownership that works collectively and the production depend on the government in the single-party system. The government makes the decisions. Ownership and manufacturing are collective. The power to make decisions in the manufacturing process is government and mass differences are not approvals, the distribution of needs and resources is determined by central planning. The job is based on the apology, not on what individuals will gain but on what the public will gain.